mark. Three points, a clean sheet, and into the automatic places at the top of League Two. It's going to be a happy Saturday evening, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pleased with um, with the the organisation and the grit we showed. It was a difficult game, um, different kind of performance today. It was about showing that um, spirit, desire, diligence to make sure that we got three points. We weren't brilliant by any stretch of the imagination, but difficult pitch, new pitch coming up in big divots and clumps. It was difficult to get a game going, but. If you can't do that, you have to make it difficult for the opposition, which we did. I suppose that that's the thing with League Two, isn't it? I suppose just four days ago, you came against a, a, another of the, the league's more footballing sides and, and got to, to pit yourselves as against them in a tactical battle. Today, you had to scrap for those points, but you've got them. Yeah, I think when you play an opposition that have lost two games heavily, you know that they're going to do everything in their power not to, to do that happen again. They're going to set up differently to how they have done, which they did. They played 4-3-3 and tried to you know, deny us any spaces to play in. And, uh, and we had to be, um, like I say, diligent and composed, and we had to wait for our moment. And they, and they did a good job of shutting you out in the first half, didn't they? Not too many clear-cut chances, but in the second, I think it's fair to say your side sort of started to come into their own a little bit and were, were carving out chance after chance. Yeah, I think anyone doubting Harrogate's spirit or effort was would have been, you know, going away from here today saying they had a right go which the players for Simon and his staff were at a right charge about today and made it really difficult for us but um, we're really pleased with the win we managed to get going after half time we had a 10 minute spell where we looked dangerous and, and that's when the goal came and both your wing backs were enjoying a little bit of freedom particularly in the second half and it was a bit of Nicky Cadden brilliance that eventually teed up Jamil Mack yeah we wasted some good positions in the first half for them to 1v1 and, and get good delivery in. Um, second half, they got in behind a couple of times and, and the delivery was good from Cads for the goal. And another goal for Jamil Matt. Yeah, that's what he's there for. He's, he's, been, he's been brilliant for us and he, he got in front of his man in the six-yard uh, six box, what a good striker should do. And, and do you think some people maybe don't realise just how important it is to be grinding out these, these results in games like this? When you make a long trip, you're, you're on the back of a draw at the top of the table, it's crucial to keep that momentum going at this point in the season, isn't it? I spoke to the players at the end briefly and just said that's a different kind of win for us and we have to have a few of those. Maybe during the winter, cold, wet, bobbly pitch, heavy, we, we've got to grind one or two out to make sure that we keep the scoreboard ticking. And, and while you mentioned the, the pitch and, and the winter conditions there, I suppose it doesn't um, benefit the style of play that you like to implement quite as much as maybe the summer months. But is that where someone like Jamil Matt really comes into his own and, and you've got those players in the team that know how to grind out a result? Yeah, I mean, it's about making good decisions when it's on to play, when it's not on to play. And when you've got Stokesy, Jordan Moore, Taylor, Jammer, a bit more experience in the team. They understand, get the message across that, listen, we might have to stick a couple in the corner, down the sides of them, get after it, rather than trying to be too intricate. And in, in previous interviews this season, we've mentioned the importance of the balance in your squad. You've got a, a real nice set of, of young, hungry, ag aggressive players, and, and then those experienced heads to, to keep things ticking over and to make sure those points end up on the board. Yeah, of course. We got some boys on the bench today that would be frustrated, and I feel feel for him. You know, Matty Stevens came on the other night, made the goal. Just didn't feel it was right to change too much today. It was I didn't want to disrupt the flow and the organisation. And Odin's done great for us. Did great when he came on, and well, I wanted to get him on somewhere, but I just couldn't couldn't risk putting him on. But they live to fight another day, and there'll be plenty of game time for them. Is it fair to say that that's, that's one of the hardest bits of being a manager, is keeping all those boys happy and, and making sure that when their time comes, they're, they're ready and, and fit to, to make sure you win those points? I say that. And, and so far this season, the boys that have come off the bench and have not let us down, they've, they've made contributions when they've come on, in, and that's so important. Sometimes it's more important than the boys that start. Um, and it is difficult leaving players out of the team, but they've got to be ready when they get their chance. And I think it's fair to say that, as you mentioned there, some of the substitutions that you've made this season have been really, really impactful. A couple you made uh, this afternoon shored things up a little bit with Dan Sweeney coming in to help nod away those crosses and then Wagstaff come to settle things in midfield and give Winchester a rest. 
that I just felt at some point they were going to put their big centre forwards on and then um, we needed a little bit more height to deal with those crosses and obviously Sweens is a, a big lad and um, so Waggy's got tremendous experience and just, just shore things up towards the end. And you mentioned those crosses, a, a number of them came into your box but uh, the likes of Chris Stokes and, and, and his centre-back comrades were, were always there to head it away. Very solid defensive performance and it didn't really feel like there was a clear-cut chance of happening. No, but you know, you're only one ricochet or deflection away from it falling to somebody. And we had to con <clears throat> concentrate and work really hard in our organisation to, to make sure we de dealt with those crosses. And a couple of important saves from Luke McGee as well. I think uh, one of his, his best performances in a Rover shirt. Yeah, I thought he was really good today. Um, calm and commanding. and That's what you need from your goalkeeper. And finally, on to, on to Tuesday. Uh, as you mentioned, those players who, who didn't get a chance today, Tuesday is perfect for them, isn't it, to get those minutes in? Yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to make but I'm not going to make rafts and rafts of changes because I want to win the game. Um, got stung, got stung at Lincoln by resting too many, and um, I want to win the game. Right, so.